A new research program launched at Camp Shelby Joint Forces Training Center's Unmanned Aircraft Support Facility on December 13th. Representatives from the Military and Department of Homeland Security and the private sector met to launch a multi-agency research program designed to drive innovation and reduce cost of technology systems used with government unmanned vehicles. The program is called the Open Source Unmanned Remote and Autonomous Vehicle System Research Program. John Weathersby, founder and director of the Open Source Software Institute, said that open source allows all research to be shared in order to develop the marketplace. Open source software is any type of software that's licensed in a way that grants the user specific rights and privileges. The license allows you, permits you, grants you the right to change or, or to customize the application to meet your needs. Camp Shelby maintains exclusive access to nearly 100 square miles of restricted airspace and currently operates training and testing facilities for a variety of military, government, and other organizations. Camp Shelby will be sharing their airspace and facilities with both military and civilian organizations that conduct research, organizations such as Heinz Community College. Randy Piercy is the Aviation Department Chairman at Heinz Community College. We're actually uh, looking at bringing our students down to this area and doing UAV training, unmanned training that we couldn't do anywhere else with the uh, restricted airspace here at Camp Shelby. So it's going to be a, a very good opportunity for our instructors and students to, uh, to test and to uh, train on unmanned systems. Camp Shelby Commander Colonel Brad Smith said this is a big development for the future of Camp Shelby and the economy. It represents regionally an eight billion dollar potential economic impact nationally projected to be sixty billion dollars so it represents employment for Mississippi people not just soldiers from Camp Shelby Public Affairs I'm Dana Elise Smith